posted something a few days ago about my hair and how frustrated I am with how short it still is even after nine months of post chemo and I, I really need to trim these little pieces that stick out um, and last night I was watching TV and there was a commercial for a class action lawsuit which I usually just let those go by but then they were talking about breast cancer so that caught my attention and when I did pay attention to the ad it was for Taxotere Taxi yeah Taxotere which happens to be the drug that they gave me for chemo so apparently this drug Taxotere can cause permanent hair loss not just chemo related hair loss but permanent alopecia So, I, I'm really not sure how I feel about that right now. I did go online and I filled out the little form, you know, I just like was looking for more information and it said if you want more information, you know, give us your name and information and send it off. and. So I did, well apparently, you know, even though the website was something called Drug Watch, I got a response from an attorney's office. So apparently this Drug Watch site is run by the class action lawsuit people, which I don't know how thrilled I am with that because already I'm getting calls and emails from them. Um, but, I, I'm just really I, I don't know I, you know it, it, there is so much to be taken in not just with this but with everything that happens when you have cancer um, and this is just like one more thing you know I mean it is frustrating that my hair is not growing and then to find out that oh it's because of a drug you took that you had no control over and your hair may never grow you know it may take six years for it to get down to your shoulders but I went online and I printed out a, just a little bit to give some information. Um, oncologists use Taxotere, known generically as Docetaxel, which is how I knew it, but somehow Taxotere, you know, that rang a bell. In a vast majority of breast cancer patients, up to 75% of these women will receive the, chem the chemotherapy drug for treatment. In my case, that was the main drug in my cocktail. Um, that was the one I received the most of, as opposed to the other drug that I just received a smaller amount of. Um, in studies, Taxotere performed better than other drugs in extending survival of breast cancer patients. However, the drug may also have distressing side effects for breast cancer survivors. Um, permanent hair loss, also called alopecia, and um, it's also been linked to toxic deaths and other potentially life-threatening side effects. Okay, now, one thing I didn't know is that um, Taxotere is made from the bark of the Pacific yew tree. I found that interesting. Probably doesn't really mean anything, but I found it interesting. <laughs> um, the normal side effects, the normal side effects um, occurred, and this is the side effects of Taxotere, occurred in more than 30% of patients. Diarrhea, fatigue and weakness, I had that. Flu, I still have that. 
fluid retention, hair loss, infections, mouth sores, nail changes, um, and then it says nails may discolor or fall off. Mine did, but much later. It, you know, it didn't happen immediately during chemo like the hair loss does. It Mine happened months later. Um, where am I? Nausea, peripheral neuropathy, which is numbness, tingling in the fingers and toes, muscle joint or bone pain, low platelets, and liver problems. Okay. Then, toxic death occurred in about 2% of metastatic breast cancer patients. And then it tells about dosage. Um, there is an FDA warning on Taxotair. I suppose there's pretty much an FDA warning on everything, but okay. The five potentially life-threatening conditions on this, what they call a black, block, black box warning, include toxic deaths, mostly resulting from sepsis, which is the body's extreme response to infection in the bloodstream. Hepatotoxicity, pretty good, <laughs> and that's from liver toxicity. Neutropenia, abnormally low white blood cell count. Um, hypersensitivity or allergic reactions, which can be life-threatening. I know that they were always monitoring me, um, the, the nurses and whatnot, when I was actually getting the drug, you know, they were always monitoring, monitoring me for any allergic reaction I might have to the drug. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. And fluid retention, which they call peripheral edema, mostly affecting the body's lower extremities. Well, now I've got the lymphedema. I don't know if that's related in any way or not. Um, and then it says that there was an FDA safety communication that the drug contains ethanol, which is one reason it's causing this toxic reaction in some patients. So, it's like the more you learn about drugs, the, the less you really want to take them. You know, even though they're here to save our lives and help us get through the day, you know, help us live longer and everything, my shirts are all, I swear it's me. Um, but then the more you learn about this, I hate watching the drug commercials on TV where they say, this drug may cause blah, 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 blah. It's like the list goes on and on and on. And I really hate it when they say, do not take if you are allergic to this drug. Duh. God. That is just like one of the dumbest sentences on television. Anyway, so I do go for an appointment with my doctor this week to discuss the, my drug interaction on the anastrozole and all my fatigue, my soreness, um, all of that. So I will also discuss with her what I'm finding here on the Taxotere and see what she has to say. She'll probably say, yeah, that's nothing. And, you know, no, I haven't seen that before. I, I don't know. Uh, Although with me, it seems like the doctors really haven't seen any of this before. and I'm just kind of the fluke out there. And I'm still watching the screen instead of watching the camera lens. Sorry. I really have to train myself differently. Um, and put a big note on it. Watch this dot over here. <sighs> okay. So, I will update you when I know anything further, which may be very little. <laughs>
I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.